So once you download the files, you come up here to the GN, and you will grab files that you downloaded. You would grab the SOL and the CMP file, but this one there's just an SOL file. Hit open and OK. So if it's single sided, is it just going to have an SOL? It might. Sometimes they have the other side and all it has is like just these little traces that go nowhere. So you don't need to worry about them, but this one, I mean, you can see the traces. Then you go to drill in and you bring in the DRD file. You hit the text format, you just hit OK. And that'll bring in the drill files, and you need to come up here to this auto drill. And click this little radio button right here. Hit OK, that will actually tell the thing it needs to drill those holes. And then the SOL is always the bottom, and the CMP would always be the top, but there's no CMP, so you just Set that one as the bottom, hit OK, and it will automatically create the traces and routes for you. Um, these are ground pads, and it looks like he doesn't have his clearances wide enough on these ground pads. Um, but that shouldn't matter, because this whole plane is a ground plane right here, so... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mill it anyway. To start milling, you would go to Cam T up here, and this will actually what will let you mill it. Then you go to start job, and this is what it's going to do in this order. So it'll drill the top, mill the top, and then mill the bottom. We don't need it to mill, to drill or mill the top because we only have a bottom layer. We're going to get that rid of them. We're going to drill the bottom, and then we're going to mill the bottom. Put it on the looks like I didn't put enough tape on it. You go up here to adjust. Now you can move. Button, it'll lower the drill head to the middle. Right here, it'll lower the drill head. You don't want to go all the way down because that'll break the bit. Um, but middle is good, not you let you line things up a little bit easier. Say you change the move distance. So instead of moving, if you want it to move less, make it move a little more precise. Corner. You always want it to match where this P1 is first, because that would be the first corner. And you click set P1 and P2 when you have it lined up in the bottom corner of the board. I'll ask if you want to align it, you go yes. And you make sure that the drill, it'll move to P2, and then you make sure that that's still on the board and not have a problem with anything. Then you click set P1 and P2 again, and those points will be saved. And if it was a double-sided board, you'd go OK. You go back to adjust, and then you would drill P1 and P2, but we don't need to do that. So you just go continue, and now we'll go to this. It will tell you you need tool number 9, and it will drill these four holes. So you grab tool number 9, and then hit OK once you're ready to go. And Scott has now velcroed that to the table, which is a nice...
it continue. And we'll drill the holes. And then it says you need tool number 10, so now you just change the tool and keep going.